99% of the women in this country are beautiful and all of them are blondes. What's even more enviable is that they are paid up to 20,000 euros for a small video. Even ordinary families can succeed in business. The boy John sees a beautiful anchor woman. He can't help but start to flutter. It just so happens that his mother has just come home. It's a big social death scene. John wanted to dig a hole in the ground. Mom took the boy to his uncle Roy. You need to teach your nephew a lesson. There's something I'm too embarrassed to say. Roy had no choice but to take on the responsibility. John used all his savings to buy Roy a bottle of vodka hoping that Roy would be merciful. That's when Uncle Jack happened to drive by in his Maybach. He greeted the two of them warmly in the car. Jack was on his way and could give them a lift. Jack warned John not to get the car dirty. It's his boss's car. You've got bad air conditioning in this car. Roy wanted to warm up with a sip of vodka, but it spilled. Jack wiped the car. And then... The The limo plunged headlong into Lake Baikal. The three men struggled to get out, but they were still tied up by the boss. You'll either have to pay or be crushed tofu. Stop now and we'll make sure you get your money back. The Three men escaped death for now, but the limousine is worth 50 million rubles. Where are we going to get that kind of money? Jack suggests we just run away, but John had a bad idea. We could make a little movie for money. Are you out of your mind? I'm serious. If the video reaches the top of the charts, we'll get 20,000 euros take my leave. I didn't expect the three of them to be caught by the boss again. Before you three die, I'd like to show you my second factory. This one is from Germany. It is also the most advanced hydraulic press in the world. No. Stop. The boss told his men to break Jack's leg. J Jack was desperate. He decided to try his nephew's plan, but Roy was hesitant. Jack and John are both single. The lead role had to go to Roy. Roy bought a Spider-Man mask on purpose, talked to his wife and reasoned with her. But Catherine was furious. You three big men are useless. I'll take you to teach the bully a lesson. But the next moment, all four of them were taken on a conveyor belt. This was the rich businessman's third factory. This time, the machine came with an incinerator. The rich businessman said it would save the three of them from all future troubles. Life is like this flame. It keeps on burning. In the nick of time, Catherine made a promise to pay back the money. But when she returned home she calculated. All the family had was 50,000 rubles. There was only one way out. Aunt and uncle. All you have to do is press the record button. I'll take care of the rest. So begins the original short film about Spider-Woman and Robot Man. But it just so happened that John's mother came home just in time. She fainted. And to add insult to injury, the short video they had worked so hard on, it was only shown three times. John said we had to change the copy. A strong headline would get good traffic. The next morning, the video had surpassed 500,000 views. It was at the top of the charts. Half, <sighs> half a million people had seen it and it was embarrassing. John got the hang of it. Start writing the script and designing the lines. The underlying logic of the film was that it had to tell a good story. That's how you can get a big audience. Roy was confused, but followed the script. The theme of the day was fighting. The neighbors complained to the police because of the noise. The police came to the house and asked about it. Roy explained that he was practicing his lines at home. He'll keep his voice down later in order to give Roy a quiet and good environment to work in. Jack goes to the park with John's mother, but he was almost hit by a car. It turned out to be Lisa the boss's daughter. As an apology, Lisa offered to buy Jack a coffee. The two of them unexpectedly got to talk. They even met up to go skiing. The two young people were having a great time. Mom was on the sidelines, too. And then... But John was even more unlucky. The boss's men grabbed him just as he left the house, and he was locked in the cellar. But John didn't expect the boss's wife to come down looking for a drink. John begged the boss's wife to give him a glass of water, but she said only wine was allowed. So they drank together. The boy envied her for the carefree life she led. But to his surprise, she started to complain. He hadn't touched me in three years. We even slept in the same bed with two blankets. John said I just couldn't understand. How can he sleep under different covers with a woman like you? John tried to comfort his boss's wife, happy or miserable the day will soon pass. The boss's wife was very relieved. It's rare to find someone who likes to drink and has a good conversation with her. Two hours later, here comes the boss. You're scared, aren't you? Look at you, all red and sweaty. John nodded his head in silence. That's what life is all about. Only when you've experienced the darkness of the cellar can you appreciate the beauty of the sun. Remember to tell your friends that if the three of you don't return the money, the punishment will be that you will all be taken back here to experience life. John returns home, surprised to find that the little video had gone viral. There were tens of thousands of comments at the bottom. Over 90% of you want to see your aunt play a solo. What's a solo? You know. 
playing an instrument alone. Catherine looks dumbfounded. Jack and John went out for a walk with embarrassment on their faces. Jack noticed his nephew was wearing an expensive watch. John admits it's a gift from his boss's wife. Jack thought his nephew was lying. I'm serious. Yesterday, I was kidnapped and had a drink in the cellar with the owner's wife. She was so happy that she gave me a watch, and now she's asking me out for a drink. You're doing well. Then Jack confiscated the watch and sold it to pay off the debt. In the evening, the boss's wife arrived as promised. Uncle said he would go out and buy them some food. Please come in. Madam, I'm sure you're here to drink. I'm going to drink the whole bottle of vodka today. But unfortunately, Lisa also came to the door. She wanted to talk to Jack about work, but Jack was in a bit of a pickle. The girl thought Jack was hiding other girls in the room. Jack rushed to explain that his roommate was making a little video, so he was worried that Lisa would mind. Lisa said not to worry at all. I shared a room with my classmates when I was studying in Spain, so I saw them making videos like this all the time. Jack was speechless. The noise from the set next door was getting louder and louder. Jack was apprehensive, but Lisa was calm. Jack is slowly relaxing, talking to Lisa about the water park project. What started out as a simple idea for Jack, but Lisa who studied architecture, made an animated model of it. Jack was instantly impressed with Lisa. Lisa came home, recommended the water park project to her dad. The boss thought it was a great project. Lisa said it was your driver Jack's idea. The old man was instantly upset, says he'll think about the project. The daughter was overjoyed. But then the boss sent a bodyguard to Jack's house. He told him to call Lisa to her face and say no, and never to contact Lisa again. Lisa was confused. What's more unexpected is that the bodyguard had one more task, and that was to break Jack's other leg.